Hey geeks, before we get started, make sure to do your boy a favor, like, subscribe, leave some comments on the video, let me know what you want to see in the future, and make sure to check out our giveaways playlist because we got some great giveaways coming up. It's a Warhammer party. Woot woot! All right, geeks, what's poppin'? We're back. So I did the review last week for the old Lieutenant in the middle, and I was so impressed with him, I told you I was gonna go ahead and pick up the rest of the line. So I've got these two guys here, the Ultramarines Primaris Assault Intercessor and the Blood Angels Hell Blaster. Now the Hell Blaster is the one in the red and the Intercessor is the one in the blue. So they're all in the same buck, so I'm not really gonna go through all the articulation and everything. Although I did get a comment on the last video saying that I didn't get the full range on the legs and the arms, so I'm gonna try that when I get these out of the box to see if these guys give it to me better. I'm gonna need to warm them up, but I do that off camera and after the review. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them out of the box and just compare them and show you the deco and such, so you can decide for yourself if you wanna add all these to your collection. There they are together, bask in the glory. Keith Lee. Size of the box are the same. Other side is not. You see they got the portraits of individual figures and the names on the bottom. And see on the back of the box. Now the Intercessor is from the first wave and you see Necron Warrior down at the bottom. I did get him in yesterday too. Then on the Blood Angel box, you'll see that they have the, what is that? The Adepta Sarita's Battle Sister. I got her in, I think Monday. Now the artist proofs, I ordered them from Walmart they said they were available and for some reason they haven't shipped yet they have created the label and they say they'll be here next week Friday so I don't know what the deal is with that maybe there was a release date that they forgot to put on the website Hell Blaster UPC and the Intercessor UPC man I'm digging the weapons they come with these are some big honking weapons Hellblast has the Assault Plasma Incinerator, and the Intercessor has the Heavy Bolt Pistol and Astartus Chainsword. Did I say that right? Astartus. Astartus. Spartacus. And they also both come at McFar stands, but you can't see them because they're behind the figures. Alright, so here's the chainsaw gun that the Intercessor comes with. It's matte black on the chainsaw piece, and then on the handle piece, it's like a gunmetal gray. You see the skull here down at the base. Jetpack, because every big scary guy needs to be able to chase you with a jetpack. And I'm reluctant to call this big thing a pistol, but because of his size, I guess it's all relative. Blood Angel comes with a big old gun. This thing's kind of heavy too. Watch this. If you don't get a tight grip on it, thing is humongo. Jetpack with no markings on the back. Alright, so Blood Angel first. Let's bask in his glory. Keith Lee! All right, so I like since it only comes with one weapon, that left hand is open. I think that's dope because the other two figures come with closed and semi-closed hands. And now the Intercessor. Now I'm partial to him because he has an upside down Omega symbol on his shoulder. I can roll with that. All right, so this big boy, I like this shield and crest he's got here. That's kind of awesome. It's around the side. He's got that symbol there with the Roman numerals four. 
helmet. He has a skull right front and center. Now these wings here are gold, and if I remember when I was dealing with the Lieutenant, uh, that was one of my complaints where I thought it would look better in gold. So now I see why it wasn't in gold, because they already had one. Uh, that death skull there, that's awesome. The gold really pops in the trim here on the cross on his forearm. Back looks basically the same as the other figs. Same for the legs. So, let's see about these arms. I actually, I know it's only been a week, but I actually don't remember how far the arms got with the articulation. I should have gone back and looked, but you guys can do that. It'll give me another view. So, is this, I can't remember, is this a double jointed elbow or not? Oh, it looks like a single joint. Ninety degrees. Oh. No, it's double jointed because there's the other pin. This comes out right. Yep. All right. So. Ah, there we go. Okay. Yep. A lot more range there. Woohoo! Look at that, making that muscle. Now the leg, you can get more range out this bottom joint, but you'd have to keep the top joint a little bit straighter because you see here his boot and his thigh are bucking up against each other. So if I put my finger in here, let me see if I can do it. If not, ow, <laughs> I always pinch myself on McFarlane toys. All right, well you can play with it, but you get it here. There's a pin here and a pin here. And if you don't get that buck there by keeping this first pin still, you can get some more range out of there. All right, so key differences. The Blood Angel here, you'll see he has the teardrop just like the Lieutenant. Not the skull. Same black wings. But he doesn't have a cross on his forearm plate there. And his blood drop here does not have a skull in the middle, but it is red. And actually, the red is quite shiny, not matte like his body. And you see each of them, they're knee guards, they have their own unique symbols. And on their helmets, no symbol here, skull here, blood drop there. And these two guys have green eyes, he has red eyes. I almost want to pop that blue head onto that red head, might do that. There's your side shot. You can see here that he has this under wreath. I guess he's a lieutenant. None for you. Wings are black. Everything else is the same going down the side, except the lieutenant has that blood drop symbol on his lower leg. Conga line. Got, won't call it a blood drop there because it's mustard. So I'll call it teardrop. And again, we got the Roman numbers four there and just stripes there. And you notice the lieutenant on his leg, he has that shin shield with the, what is it, with wings. And none for you, Mr. Blood Angel. All right, there's the intercessor fully stocked. Man, just be aware if you don't have any of these figures which you plan on getting them, putting their weapons in their hands is a job unto itself. Those hands are tight and it's on all three of them. You gotta fight to get the weapons in their hands. But once they're in, they come out nice and easy. Don't get it. And when the boys are all together, man, that's a tough squad. All right, so let me know what you think, guys. They're very similar, but they're just different enough to warrant a purchase for some people, like me. If you don't know how to like, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. That's a like. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and share this with another geek friend. So what do you think of these guys? I mean, really tell me. 
Um, as you know, I'm new to this line. I've known about Warm Hammer for years, but this McFarlane line, I had no interest in it at first. But now, man, I'm loving these. And maybe I'm a big fan of bulky figures, but I think that the armor on these guys looks incredible. Uh, they got good balance, come with great weapons. I think they're a great addition to anybody's collection, especially for the size and the price. They're $19.99 at Walmart, standard price. And so depending on where you go, you might pay two or three bucks more, but they're really big, hefty figures. I mean, they're basically what uh, Hasbro would actually call a bath in some instances. So you're getting your money's worth. Anyway, so I'll hear from you guys in the comments and I'll respond as quickly as possible. Go ahead and enjoy. Get them while you can before the prices go up and put them on the shelf because they look darn good. All right, Geets, till next time, Warhammer Squad out. Yeah.